Good day, YouTube. It's the 2nd of March, 2019, and it's a beautiful day in Oregon. Gosh, three days ago there was snow on the ground, and today I uh, saw 52 degrees coming back from uh, a lunch we had up in Salem and picking up part of another project, which uh, we'll talk about here real quick. Another project. Yeah, we need more projects around here. Gosh, I wish I had more than one or two days off a week, but I don't, and this is what we got. Hey, uh, you guys might remember, pull you out of the stand, this speaker tower project that I built last winter. Um, I can put, uh, you know, one, two, three, four speakers on this rack and go, you know, 20 feet in the air. Um, built the trailer that it rides on. And uh, this thing has been extremely successful for me. It's made my DJ business uh, uh, almost like no one can compete with me kind of deal because nobody has this. Uh, I got rave reviews. I walked into a restaurant last night and the owner of the restaurant goes, I was going to call you. I need you for whatever. And I made a smart remark. I, oh, I can go back and wait for your call. You know, I got the whole restaurant laughing. It was kind of funny. Um, anyway, I just book all kinds of weekends and holiday events because of the abilities that me and my equipment have. And this was all my idea to build the speaker tower. Um, give you just a quick rundown. I, I think I have the build for this trailer on the uh, on my YouTube channel as well as modifying this uh, one man genie lift for speaker duty. And the what I needed the trailer for, of course, to get it there and so forth. And I never actually intend to take the speaker tower off the trailer. So I built the trailer. Um, it really could have been four foot wide. I built it five foot wide. That piece of aluminum is four foot wide, but it did give me something to really tie this thing down with. But uh, four foot wide would have been fine. I went with 15 inch wheels and tires only because the kit that I bought came with that. So I bought a kit um, which came with the you know, the wheels, uh, t tires, uh, hubs, axles, spring, all the lights, the fenders, the front tongue, the tight or the jack for the tongue, the wiring, and all that stuff. It was in the neighborhood of five fifty, six hundred dollars, and then I probably had a couple hundred bucks worth of steel, and then figure welding wire, shielding gas, and then all of the uh, four corner jacks. You know, because I need to level this thing. You can't send that thing up in here crooked. So four cornering jacks, um, all said and done. I got a thousand bucks in a trailer. Well, I probably got a thousand bucks in the whole thing because I did some trading for the lift and um, I just needed a little bit of steel to build that rack. So, I've got an opportunity at another lift so that I can build another speaker tower because there's no limit to how many amplifiers and uh, I can send a signal to these things wirelessly for a great distance even miles um so there's almost no limit to my sound capabilities anymore but another speaker tower could be super cool i have an opportunity another lift it's a little smaller than that one which means i'd have to build another trailer ah another trailer well it took like two to three weekends so five or six days probably to build this trailer and i did a pretty good job it's the only trailer I've ever actually built from scratch. And it came out real nice. But I don't have a ton of time. And I stumbled on a trailer on... Uh, it was on Facebook Marketplace. And I picked it up this morning. Well, actually, I picked it up after lunch. So here it is. Oh, anybody want a cat? Just jumped in my car. Actually, I don't give the cats in the neighborhood too much of a hard time because what I don't have is mice. All right, get out of my car. So I picked up this little trailer and it's like four foot by four foot. Remember I said I didn't need a five foot trailer and you saw how wide, too wide it was. So this is just four foot wide. The trailer that I picked it up in is five feet wide and it didn't exactly fit. I actually thought it was smaller than that. So we got her sitting up on the rail, but we got it home. This is pretty cool because it has a removable tongue. The removable tongue was an idea I had for the other trailer, but I didn't go with it. Um, but the second one I built, I wanted to have one um, with a removable tongue so I could put this in like an intersection of downtown 
during a walk around event i do antique fairs and things like that where i can put this in an intersection where people are just walking but i can take that long obnoxious tongue off of there um, and slide it underneath and look at that this already has provisions on all four corners for jacks that one's destroyed but the, there's one over here i think i'll cut the back ones off anyway and i do something more like it's on the front and come out from underneath here with a jack that can swivel down and level it out has a plate on both sides for lights those lights are destroyed um, they're essentially exactly like those lights which are exactly like the lights on, that I put on that trailer. You can get an LED version. I just happen to have a couple more sets of these um, with regular bulbs in them, and I'll probably just use them because I have them. Yard sale fine, still in the package kind of deal. Um, tires are okay. They're just 14 inch 75 series uh, tires, probably off a of Taurus or something. Standard bolt pattern, even the same as this little guy, five on four and a half, or what I just call Ford bolt pattern. So, what a great little trailer, and I picked this up for $200. So, I'll no doubt have to spend a couple hundred bucks and, and some time to get it um, just right the way I want it. But it's a good size. It's a removable tongue. It's like everything I ever wanted. It's certainly going to save me you know, three or four days, and it's going to save me $500 to get the second speaker tower up and running. But what i got to get is this thing off my trailer. Ooh, do you see what I have set up? I just thought it'd be fun to video it because this thing could go horribly wrong or it could go completely successful and it will come off of there without incident. But as you can see, it's wider than the trailer. The trailer's wider than the trailer. And so I had to pick up one side and come up on the side rail there. And getting it off, I had help putting it on the seller help me put it on but i gotta get this thing off here by myself which is typical so i think a lot about how do i gonna get this off without being killed in the process and i think i'm gonna let this tire drop down onto those old uh, front mower tires and soften the blow on the way to the ground if the thing goes horribly wrong i'm bailing i'm just letting her go i can fix whatever gets broken so let me put you in the stand at a safe distance from the action and <laughs> let's get this trailer out of my trailer where can I stick you how about there all right back a little further all right here we go we're gonna do it it goes bad I'm How was that? Huh? That's thinking. All right, gang. Well, this is a project you'll see hopefully before. Oh gosh, I don't know. Sometime this spring, I'll probably get to it. I have to get the lift home. I had all my implements for my John Deere projects in my trailer for over a month <laughs> through all the snow and everything. Finally got them unloaded today. So now I can go get that lift and, uh, Get this trailer cleaned up. Put some different color paint on it, don't like orange. And uh, we'll start getting that thing all put together and I'll have my second speaker tower. That'd be cool. Okay, beginnings of another project. Safely home and safely out of the trailer. Hey gang, we'll catch you on the next video.